So, on my character design video, somebody was asking me how I colored in the lines without using a selection or so smoothly, and I wanted to quickly show how I do that. Let me just open this. If it'll let me open it. Maybe not. Hold on. It doesn't want me to. Uh... One second. Okay, so I have it here. Um, how I did this was first I selected the whole dog. Did this before I started the video, so you didn't see me do this step, which may be in part why you don't know how I did it, but I did this. I selected every part of the dog I wanted to color. I'm just going to select the fur for sake of this video and to show that you don't have to do the whole dog and or whatever you're trying to color. So. What I did was that, and then I got a white, a layer, a new layer, and I colored in everything I had just selected with white. And, of course, remember, on a new layer, don't do this on the line art layer, or else your line art will permanently look like that, and you don't want that. So, then I put this layer of the white underneath. Now, this was where I get to how I colored it. I make a new layer, and I click this little button here. It says Clipping Group. And how clipping groups work is it'll only work on top of the layer underneath it. Like, for example, if I moved it above the line art, it would be turning my line art whatever color I'm using. Whereas if I put it over the white one here, it'll color in the white there because it's over that. Which is why you put that base of white underneath first. And you can do this with anything. Um, if you lower the... If you lower the... Uh, clipping group layers opacity it will not lower the white's opacity but if you lower the white layer it'll lower both and if you you can mess with what mode it's at you can add a texture it won't apply said texture to the rest of it like it won't apply to the white as you can see it just applies to the layer I'm clipping on and then if you want this layer to be not a clipping group like you actually want it to be its own layer, what you want to do, it kind of looks like grass, but what you want to do is take this grass dog layer and merge it down using this. And now this layer, it gets rid of the white layer, but now there's just this layer of this sort of fur texture. And then I can make another clipping group and draw on top of this fur texture. Or you can choose to not do that. But that's how I draw in a certain area without using the select tool makes it so it doesn't draw over everything else. I use clipping groups for shading. In most videos you see, or art you see of my drawings, I would make the shading layer a clipping group so that I can just lower the opacity of the clipping group whenever, and it won't go everywhere like that. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if I should do more tutorial videos like this, and of course request any tutorials if you need them. Thank you for watching.